102 million Spotify stream. Yeah, hey, one is a great way to I pay homage. Paying, like, okay. I think it's paying homage. Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> like, oh my, this guy is like from the Asian side of the world, the western side of the country, but I don't know. I have not seen a really good role. I mean, sometimes the song is good, the video is shit. What's up, people? How are you doing? Welcome back to the Uncommon Breed. Yeah, yeah. Talk, talk. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been, it's been a, a minute. It's been a long ass minute. Again. It's been so long. It's been four minutes, man. I've never <laughs> seen your face. As usual, we're unfiltered, unbiased, and unapologetic. Yeah, yeah. So, welcome back. Today we're three strong. My name is LJ and we got So we're gonna talk about the international music scene, right? Uh -huh. Definitely you guys have heard this song. Uh it's been used in reels, it's been used across the board, basically everywhere, TikTok, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook. It's I'm not used... sick of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sick of it to be honest it's as a well. Song. Currently <laughs> one of the biggest songs streaming on the market. Right? In the world. In the world. And this guy is a rapper from India. He's not an Indian rapper, right? He's a rapper in India. His name is Hanuman Khan. First off, Hanuman Khan, great play on his rap alter ego, right? The words with humankind and Hanuman, the god, right? Basically, Hanuman Kind, which I like the fact that he wordplayed his name. So again, the song that we're talking about is actually called Big Dogs. The song has received over 102 million Spotify stream in the space of its release for about two months. 71 million views on YouTube. It debuted number nine on the Billboard Global 200. This is how big it is. Number nine, bro on the global Billboard 200. It is number eight on the global chart at the moment, as per US. <laughs> that just goes to show how many hard hitters they got from the States. Dude, this is one this, difference. <laughs> this guy came out swinging. Basically, this was, I think, closer to the end of the Kendrick Drake beef. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Kendrick's song, Not Like Us, was, was streaming pretty high, and then he released his music video. That was streaming pretty high as well. This song outperformed Kendrick's song by two steps. So basically, Kendrick was at number 11th, Hanuman Kain was at number 9 on the global Global 200, Damn. right? So he came out swinging. Yeah, but his opening line is coming out swinging as well, you know, for the song. Yeah. It was fucking crazy. Bro, his drop is insane. So what I liked about the song is the beginning ad-libs. Ad-libs that we don't normally hear in modern day music. It's very old school. Then yeah, they start yeah, yeah. with that sort of ad-libs. And then my favorite part is when they cut off the music, it went a cappella basically. What a cappella? Is that the word? Yeah, a cappella. A cappella, uh, right? Without cappella. Yeah, <laughs> it went aka. I'm bullshitting, that's not what it means. It went aka pal, la. Right, so anyways, as I say, wait a minute, get it how you get it. Get it how you live it. Get it how you live it. Get it how you live it. Big step up, uh, underground. Dude, been listening to so <laughs> wait a minute, get it how you live it. Ten toes in and I'm standing on business. I'm I'm standing on business. I just got to correct you. Think no, but, but that project, Pat Pro Flow. It's a great it, way to pay homage. Yeah, hey, one think, is a great way to I pay homage. Pay, like, okay. I think it's paying homage. I, I want to I bring this up because a lot of people said it was biting. It was paying homage. What do you guys think? Because the song went so big, a lot of people were on different sides. Some of them were like, dude, there's no Project Pat. You know, it's biting his flow. Some of them no, were like... No, why would he... Okay, okay. If he was if it was biting, okay. right? Why would he mention Project Pat? I think it was his fourth bar, fifth bar. Yeah, he literally saying bumping Project Pat. So like, why would he mention him if he was biting? That's literally setting up to get caught. No, I agree with you. That, uh, I think it's paying homage. I, I, because I, I, he, I also he grew up in Texas, I think. Yeah, he grew up in yeah, Texas. Memphis. That's and Project, Project Pat is, is not somebody that a lot of people are accustomed to, but he is a holy. Uh, he is a, I would say, living legend at the moment. Very good, very good writer. Very. He's got that weird flow that is unique to him. It's southern. It's southern. Yeah. It's very. It's very typical of southern to have their own style. Style. Yeah. Their own. Shit. Their own, he, he he claimed that style, right? So I think, uh, for me personally, I think it's paying homage. Because he didn't go throughout the whole song. You see, that true, true. It's like the, the four bar, and the minute he says Project Pat, it 
end it. Yeah, he, he, for me, at first, I thought it was biting because this was the beginning of the viral movement, right? That this guy just came out, out of nowhere from Def Jam India and right. just like, boom. Hanuman Kai, and he went viral. A lot of, I think, a lot of music reviewers or reactors reacted to the song, and it just blew up. Like it just blew up, and I think it was Speed. Speed blew it up. Yeah, it? Speed blew it up to to a massive. No, I I I think why it blew up is because it was an all around good packaging because the video was good. The video was amazing. The lyrics was good. The color grading was amazing. The song was good. The overall, yeah, the song itself without the yeah. video, it was, it was like lyrically it was across the board. Lyrically, yeah. I would say, lyrically, I would say, based on the song and the hype of the song, I mean, you can't be storytelling in this beat, right? But he did. Uh, no, but he did. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't be storytelling in this beat. And he managed to put in a very generic storyline, but again, still pretty not great. Really, for me, it's not like a generic storyline. It's more of like his identity. In yeah, this. it's his his anthem. Per se. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Kid? Honestly, I don't care. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't care. No, for real, I don't care because it sounds well. It doesn't look like he's faking his entire image or whatever. He brought that sound to life, and it was. So well gelled together. From the video, to the song, to the lyrics, to the drop, to the energy, to the vibe, to the cadence. I did, I think he did well. So you, didn't, dude, you didn't care if it was paying homage or biting? I mean, music has been around for like thousands of ages. We probably just copying somebody else too. And yeah, he's putting Southeast Asia on the map for at least the global hip hop scene. Yeah, he actually is, yeah. <laughs> and the fact is, uh, the one thing that I like, the, the videographer, wait, hold on, the videographer actually shared a cultural entertainment oh, scene. the Death Wheel. Yeah, oh. the Death Wheel, yeah. <laughs> Dude, one, the song was dope. The video editing, the drone shots, the movement of the, the camera angles and whatnot. <laughs> so basically, as I was saying, like, like they managed to capture the cultural entity of India, right? The entertainment, the Death Wheel, the, the bikes, the cars, the the adrenaline rush, and he put it all in the video where he was basically out the car window and he was like just blowing up the scene and, and like- I felt like that was major Mad Max vibes. And dude didn't have any harnesses, man. Yeah, dude you do a like, video like that, you wouldn't want any harnesses too. True. It's too <laughs> limiting. Huh? True. It's yeah. too limiting. No, but, but again, you see, uh, I have not seen this from any Artists. Southeast Asian rapper. This Asian artist. If you look at the at the K-pop scene, I think G Dragon was was oh, the yeah. last that actually did something this. <coughs> I wouldn't say this massive, but uh, not as massive as this. As this, but <clears throat> he also did something which put Korea on the map for rap. I feel right? like that's a little bit different. I feel like G Dragon put K-pop sound more in the international line. Yeah, so it's not, not so much more a rap, but accepted. Right. But, but J Park was more that hip hop, hip hop sound. Like, in the other side, in the south part of the APEC region, right, the Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, Thailand, right? I mean, I don't know whether it's the, the language barrier, that's why it's not reaching out to the western side of the country, but I don't know, I have not seen a really good rollout. Roll, I mean, sometimes the song is good, the video is shit or oh, the video is good, the song is shit, yeah. right? And there's something that doesn't click with the whole whatever, whatever, but... Yeah, even How Your Brother didn't have this kind of impact during their peak. Yeah, right? So... Oh shit, no! D guys, we're missing out a major key player. Yeah. Damn! Rich Chigga! True! Indonesia. Right. But I, I feel like Rich Chigga was the was most recent about, one, I think. I, I feel like... It was our era kind of vibe. Rich. Our era, yeah. <laughs> Rich Chigo was Indonesian, right? Yeah, Wasn't yeah. he an still influencer is. before he, still he became? Is Indonesian. I don't think so, though. I think it was he was like, a viner before. He, he was a viner, so, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. He was. He was. I mean, Hanuman Kain was basically. Dude, really the guy had well, like I think. Though. I think the guy had like less than forty k followers. I don't know, but, but, but I like, went. In, I went in on in his catalog. He was like an artist, artist from the get go. No, he is an artist, artist from the get-go. And yeah. I think a lot of his songs, because he, f he focused on the cultural element, which was Tamil Naidu and, and basically the 
Indian side of uh, hip hop, right? Right. And a lot of those songs also had dual language, Tamil uh, and English as well. And it didn't really pick up until this came out. But yeah. now with this, it sort of pushes his whole catalog forward of course. Yeah. to to another level. I, I think one song had like, I think like less than a, I fuck with less than sixty, seventy k plays, right? Yeah. Streams, right? And he was he released it, I think, <coughs> two three years back. And I checked it again. It was up a milli, bro. It was up a million. I like, and so probably for it's him, like, it was just a matter of time. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just a matter of time. I mean, people to pick him up. He did it. Uh, he hit every bar note so well that dude launched himself yeah. into stardom. Right? He launched that one particular song. He launched it into stardom. Crazy. And, and and I like, I love the fact that he has his own vibe. Like you can see it across the board on his songs and shit. Like. He ain't trying to be I somebody. I love when you listen to new artists and you can't pinpoint their influence. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's beautiful. He's one of yeah. them. He's like a trendsetter or a wave maker. I love that. I feel like, like, like you said, he's an artist, artist. He wasn't yeah. about the, the. I mean, there's a certain level of fame that you need, you know, you generate streams to generate. He's, he's not like a, a transformer, like Joji. He's not like that. Yeah. 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 He is cool, hard artist, artist, and this song. It, for me, I look at it as the universe sort of paid off the hard work. You get what I mean? I guess. Right? He did everything. He kept on doing it. Kept the universe on doing just it. gave him back the energy he gave out. Dude, the universe gave him like a shit ton of... You can look at his lyrics. It's all about his hustle, man. Yeah. yeah. But this guy's like from the Asian side of the world. He's an outsider. He's an outsider. He just comes and says, like, bro, I want to see it at the table. I can play at this game too. It puts a point on every Asian rapper that here's the door, let me break down the door for you, right? Because like now, everybody's going to be looking at either India, everybody's going to look looking at either Indonesia, Malaysia, whichever state that's Asian related because of him. Like, dude will be like, it opened this, it opens the floodgates. Yeah, and he helped open that floodgates, right? And again, we had artists before that helped us open that floodgates, but not bro. This is not, not a like floodgate. This. this is a fucking dam, right? He broke damn. the fucking dam. <laughs> yeah, damn. right. Any bad feedbacks for the song? I like the simplicity of the lyrics. Yeah, but at the same time, it tells his story. It's very everything is very well balanced. Actually, I, I can't find a flaw. Like to be honest, I can't find a flaw. Other than artist wise, that, artist wise, right? I can't find I can't find a flaw because I'm sitting there. Even the beat switch, I thought the beat switch would be uh, at the end. I thought the beat switch would be. No, it's not really a beat switch. It's like a slow down. Slow down. But dude, he killed that too. He had like four or five different flows in one song. Almost right? as if like he know this shit's gonna blow the fuck up. So make sure you catch out. Uh, Hanuman Kai and Big Dogs, if you've not, right? Make sure you check out the video. Yeah. Uh, for us, I think we put credit where credit is due. Uh, this song is a monster. We have a special update. Update. So, what the fuck? <laughs> What's that? Right? So, just to share across with you guys. So, we basically have a new logo if you can check out our socials. Uh, we have gone minimalistic and we have also launched a new website, theuncommonbreed.com, right? So make sure you check out our website. We will be doing an official launch soon. This is a soft launch. You can go check it out. We have lifestyle pages. We have topics about artists, about rap, hip hop. We have about food. We have about cars. We have daily <laughs> entertainment news. We have about fashion. Events. Right? Events, upcoming events, right? So we have a massive load of content going on to that web page, right? So make sure you check out our website. Thank you very much for watching. We're back.